Assalamu alaikum. Um, my question was, how do you navigate the waters when someone asks, what does Islam say about the LGBTQ uh, people? وما ارسلنا من قبلك الا رجالا نوحي اليهم فاسالوا اهل الذكر ان كنتم لا تعلمون uh, that's a very uh, good question. Unfortunately, there's no quick, easy 20 second sound bite that will do the job because the person asking the question, generally speaking, has already made up his or her mind. For them, it is a matter of certainty almost that uh, same sex and uh, desires are something that are completely morally permissible. And perhaps the reason they're asking you, frankly, is simply to find a 20 second sound bite from you that they can use against you. So I would say honestly that you take a step back. You should take a step back and say that, you know, uh, for us, Islam is indeed a package deal. And we believe that our Lord has told us uh, what is good for us and what is not good for us and uh, the question I have for you is do you believe in God and if uh, uh, you, if you do believe in God that would you not accept the morality that comes uh, with belief in God so I think uh, me personally I would always ask them to take a step back now obviously if you know your history of ethics and philosophy if you know a little bit more about this type of stuff you can get uh, to uh, the very uh, the very early question that Plato himself asked um, in his uh, famous treatise, is it uh, Timaeus or I forgot the treatise, but Plato himself asks is that what exactly is good and what exactly is evil? Who gets to decide what is good and evil? So you can begin from that political prem uh, philosoph philosophical premise as well. Who defines good and who defines evil? Where does the notion of good and evil come from? Because for us, good and evil is something that we cannot decide on our own because we ourselves are biased. It's like we're choosing for us what's good and evil. And there's this, this circular notion. How can I choose what's good and evil for me when I'm the one benefiting or being harmed by my own decisions? So we firmly believe that social conditioning, that's another key phrase you can use, plays a huge role in deciding what is good and what is evil. If an entire society is doing a particular custom or habit, it's almost impossible for them to think that it is evil. And the classic example is slavery, that for all of human history, and especially here in America, nobody even thought slavery was wrong. Uh, another example is, is, uh, is racial discrimination, that for 400 years, people argued, intelligent people, the founding fathers of this country, Abraham Lincoln, as you should all be aware, did not believe that blacks and whites were equal, not at all. He firmly believed that his race was superior morally and intellectually than the other race. And he was Abraham Lincoln. Why? Because of social conditioning. So we firmly believe that we need a source of ethics and laws that transcends the human experience. We firmly believe that there has to be a higher power. And that's what the Quran says, Ala ya'lamu man khalaqa. Isn't the one who created you, isn't he more knowledgeable for you than anyone else? The one who created is the one who has the right to tell us. So we can go down this philosophical tangent, but as you've already seen, there's no 20 second clip. And in reality, we have to just take the step back and we say, I believe certain things are good because my Lord told me so. And I believe other things are not good because my Lord told me so. Do you want to know why I believe that Allah is my Lord, that the Quran is my book, that the Prophet is my prophet? Then you change the conversation from LGBT and morality to belief in God, to the Quran, to the Prophet wasallam. That's our fortress. We can fight and defend far more easier our notions of God and the Quran and the seerah. That's where we will win our battles. As for the LGBT, the person coming to you 99.9% .9 of the times, they have already reached certainty in their minds. If they don't believe in God, they're not gonna come to the conclusion that certain you know, lifestyle preferences are, are not morally correct. So we take them to the bigger question of life and the purpose of life and the existence of God and the revelation of the Quran and we argue from there. And then once we win that argument, then we can proceed to talk about morality and ethics and Allah knows best. يا من أجبت دعاء نوح فانتصر وحملته في فلكك المشحون يا من أحال النار حول خليله روحا وريحانا بقولك كون